and welcome to this tutorial. This is the fourth part in uh, the forum tutorial. Um, in this part we're going to be creating our forum categories and our forum subcategories. Um, this will all be maintained in the categories the f in the administrator section of the website which you can see by clicking administrative section right below. Alright, what I'm going to do is um, just create inside um, this statement right here I'm going to delete this and I'm going to specify a new variable called act we're going to call it git act and this will be in the URL and then we're going to make an array called acts and these will be um, basically uh, possible actions that the administrator can perform. So our first uh, act in our array will be create cat and we'll make a second one called create subcat. Alright. Now we're going to do this. If act doesn't exist or act isn't in the array of acts echo please choose an option from above to continue alright and now we're going to uh, create a for each statement for all the acts so we're going to do just like so acts as action um, alright I'm going to add on to this Okay, and we'll do create forum subcategory just like so. And now I'm gonna make a X. I'm gonna redo this one. Create cat and create subcat. I'm gonna change this one to actions. Okay. Oh. So for each actions, as you here let's call this URL and then link alright and now um, I'm gonna create a new variable called X and a new variable called C which is going to be defined to count actions and now I'm gonna specify X plus plus which will add X each time a new process is being delivered. So now let's um, go ahead and create a new variable called pipe. And we're going to do this if x equals c, then it's nothing. Else it equals space pipe space semicolon. So now we're going to do is echo out our actions. So actually, I'm going to do a bullet. Mm, I guess this is fine. And eh, whatever, ample. Alright. Um, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and echo a href equals admin.php, and then we do act equals the variable of URL. And now we'll do link. And now we'll do pull. Okay, and we'll go ahead and see how this is delivered. Let's just refresh it. All right, we have create form category and create form subcategory. Okay, perfect, just how we wanted it. And now we're just going to echo a break, so it's all right, just like so. Now we have them there. You can easily see. Create cat. This will go away right there. And that should go away as well. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and after this this statement here, we're going to add an else statement. This means an action does exist and is in the array. So now we're going to do if act equals create category, C-A-T. 
and we're going to specify if post submit doesn't exist. So we're using the if exclamation point post submit, and uh, inside this we're going to echo out a form. So form. Well, actually, let's let's make a little table here too. So spacing equals three. All right. Let's echo a form. Action. Okay, this action is very necessary. You have to call it back to the same get act property. So act equals create cat, just like so. Now we'll go ahead and create um, category name. I'm going to call this name simple. Now I'm going to create an, another one, admin only, put a question mark, and if it has to be admin only, they will check the checkbox, so input type equals checkbox, name equals admin, and value equals 1. The value will only be passed if the checkbox is checked. And now we're going to span this data cell over two rows, align it to the right and put the submit button here name equals submit and value equals create forum category alright we're gonna end the form and the table we'll go ahead and check this out create forum category there we have it now is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna edit the style sheet up here I'm going to do content table tdtr, just like so. Font size, what did I do? 10 points, as the other ones I did. Color number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's just do 3. Awesome. Now we'll do content input. We'll do border 1 pixels solid, number 4a. 777A, like so. Um, we'll do the background color of number 123 for light gray. The color will be black. And the font family will be Tahoma. And the font size will do 9 points this time. Okay, we'll go ahead and save this and see how it looks. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to put some padding on the, the inputs just so we can have some separated text and it looks a little neater just like so perfect just how I wanted it now we're gonna go back to the admin file and after the if post submit doesn't exist statement we're gonna put an else statement and we're gonna find um, two variables first off I'm gonna go into our global okay we already created the MSS function so we're gonna do name equals MSS post name just like so and then we'll call admin equals post admin. Alright. Um, okay. Now we're just going to do some simple error checking. So if name. And now we're going to check the string length on this. If string length name is less than 3. Or, sh or string length name is greater than 32. Echo the, the category name must be between 3 and 32 characters alright else now we're gonna going to check if um, if it's alphanumeric so um, if c type alnum name well, actually I think we're fine we're fine um, okay now we're going to uh, do a query so we'll call SQL4. Select uh, star from forum cats where name equals name. This is so we don't um, create the category with the same name. Alright, or die. <laughs> now we're going to check to see if one row exists. So we're going to do greater than zero, echo. The category name already exists. Simple as so. And now we're all set to go ahead. We're going to um, 
now check off. We're going to create a new variable called admin check. This will equal so if if admin equals one, then we'll equal one else it equals zero. All right. Now we're going to insert the row. So insert into forum cats. Oops. I'll go name admin values name and admin underscore check. All right. Let's query this out. just like so. After this, echo the forum category bold name has been successfully added. Alright, we'll go ahead and save this. We'll go ahead and try it. So, create forum. We're just doing error checking. Oops. If, if if name here else echo you must supply a f category name all right we'll go ahead and submit it again you must supply a category name we'll do two characters 3 and 32 now we'll do uh more than 32 all right now we're going to create this called general with no admin. The forum category general has been successfully added. So we'll go into our forum categories here. We'll browse the table. You can see there's one. Admin is zero. Name is general. Easy as that. We're going to create another one called admin only. And we'll have admin turned on. Create forum category. Okay. Browse the table. And you can see admin is now one. Simple as that. Um, well, I don't want to spend too much time exceeding, I don't know, 15 minutes at least on this tutorial. Uh, so in the next tutorial, we will be creating the forum subcategories, which will be linked under the forum categories. This video will be available in high definition. Um, alright, well, if you like this tutorial and you should see the rest of my tutorials as soon as I upload them, please subscribe. Um, it's also very important that you rate videos. Um, and please comment. I will reply whether negative or positive. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.